All right, good morning, everyone. I'm here to talk about power blogging with VMware. I'm Elsa Mayer, the uh, blogs program manager on the social media and communities team, if we haven't met already. Um, so thank you so much for, for turning up, and here we go. So this is just the disclaimer slide. You guys have probably seen this before if you've been to any other tech talks. Get right into it. So what this talk will cover, first of all, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of the VMware Blogs program as it stands, if you haven't spoken with me already this week about it. Um, talk about how to get your blog featured on VMTN Blog Beat, our new uh, aggregated blog feed. Some of the benefits of becoming a VMTN network member, which is how you get your blog featured on Blog Beat. And then some other ways that you can get involved with the blogger program at VMware. So first of all, why are you guys so important to us? You, you may know this already, but I just want to emphasize why we're making such a big effort to, to build up the, the blogger program at VMware. First of all, your trusted sources. So when customers are looking for product information, for looking for news, you are one of the first stop shops for really, really trusted, valuable uh, technical information. Second of all, you spread the word about VMware products and announcements better than any of our other sources, basically. Um, really in-depth, valuable information, as I said. Your eyes and ears, so for us, uh, you really provide insights into what people are interested in, what they're talking about, um, what they care about, and allow us to then propagate information into the community. And then finally, content is king. So we have a lot of internal corporate blogs that produce really excellent content all the time, but you guys fill in, supplement, and just create so much more content for us, and all we have to do is, is enable you and support you however possible. So on that same thread, what do we do to empower you guys, or what are we trying to do to empower all of you? To start, here, let's just talk about the, the blog program as it stands. So the objective of the blog program is to facilitate the production of exceptional blog content and drive traffic to this content. This is through, uh, first of all, the VMware corporate blogs, as I mentioned previously. There are 70 plus internal blogs covering products, business units, and then also the, the different geolocations. And then there are the 1,000 plus community blogs, which are managed by, by all of you here. We've aggregated those into a, a single feed, an RSS feed, uh, that you can find at blogs.vmware.com. It's called BlogBeat, VMTN BlogBeat. And we're really excited about it because you can go, it's a one-stop shop for all the blogs that are coming out of the community, whether it's corporate or external. Um, so our readers are really excited to go to blogs.vmware.com and just spend a few minutes scrolling through the feed, finding some bloggers that they're really excited about following. So this is what the page looks like, if you haven't seen it before. There are a few ways you can get involved with the page. First of all, if you haven't signed up to become a VMTN network member already, um, you can go here and do it yourself. It's just a quick form. Every month, we're featuring top bloggers in the community. So VM Guru is a great example. Um, these six feature boxes are all top, top bloggers. So that's based on traffic from blogs.vmware.com to individual posts. And very exciting, we will be giving away passes to VMworld 2018 to the top blogger each month. So a little bit of an incentive to, to get your blog up here. You can subscribe to the RSS feed if you use a feed reader to, to read your blogs. And then finally, once you do become a VMTN network member and you're added to the feed, your blogs will be, will be featured here. So what else comes with VMTN network membership? Some of you in, in the audience um, have spoken with me already this week, and so you know uh, some of the other benefits. But besides exposure on the BlogBee RSS feed, you'll get an invitation to the monthly blogger call. This is going to be an hour-long session will be recorded if you, if you can't make the, the time. Um, but it will be half an hour uh, talking about just a roundtable discussion with all of you. And then another half an hour with an expert in the field. So whether that's someone who's speaking about search engine optimization, really fantastic uh, plugins for various blog platforms, 
um, building a blogger home lab, some, something that uh, we'll speak with all of you about and, and figure out what the interest levels are. So we're, we're excited to have that. We'll also share out some trending topic insights. We use a tool called Radiant 6, which we can load, into your, load your blogs into and figure out what the trending topics are. So if you're kind of looking for new areas to explore, you can figure out what, what's hot in the market. We're also offering guest blogging opportunities with VMware corporate blogs. So say you really want to write an interesting post about um, network virtualization, you can partner with the VMware network virtualization uh, as a guest author, a guest blog author, and, and post there. So we're excited about that opportunity as well. Um, if you opt in to tag your page with uh, some, some analytics using our analytics tool, we can also give you insights into your traffic rankings from our various internal VMware.com pages. And then finally, we're offering a community as a service program. Um, and I'm going to delve into that a little bit more. So what is community as a service and how does it work? Essentially, community as a service is aggregating all the community uh, sources um, in the ecosystem. Right now, we're mainly focusing on blogs and, and podcasts. And we're loading them onto an open source object server called Revive. Um, this object server can host objects, serve these objects to the web addresses, and then provide us with analytics. The way that uh, the object is served up is as a widget. So these widgets can be static and dynamic, and they're also bi bidirectional widgets. Um, essentially, what you would do, and here is an example using our, our cloud management uh, blog page, is you would just need a bit of script to place this object on your page. As it's shown here, there are a few different options for where you could uh, place the object. Um, and this object will serve up different content from the, the community based on how you tag it. So, um, for example, your blog, if you tagged it for cloud management, could show up in one of these feature boxes if you're writing something relevant. And likewise, another uh, piece of content from the community would be served up on your page. So we're really excited about this opportunity as it just allows us uh, one more opportunity to cross-promote really fantastic uh, content throughout the community, throughout the ecosystem, and provide a little bit of visibility into what all the other community members are doing. So how you can get involved, if you haven't already. I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces that have already signed up to be VMTN network members. They're already in the RSS feed, and they're excited about this new beta. If you haven't, you can go to blogs.vmware.com and register to be a VMTN network member, as I showed you previously. Just a simple form. We need your name, email, uh, and RSS feed. Those are the, the key items. Secondly, you can submit your idea for a guest blog post if that's something you're, you're excited about doing. We just need to know um, what kind of topic you're interested in writing about and um, what blog you're interested in writing for. That, that form is, is listed here. And then finally, you can engage with us on Twitter and email me any questions at blogs.vmr.com. Um, and I'd love to hear any feedback you have about the program. Uh, any ideas you have for us, and we're really excited to have you on board. So thank you very much. Um, I can't take questions here, but I would love to take questions at the booth or then again, as I said previously, on Twitter or by email. Thanks.